Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video, we set up our localhost environment. So that is our XAMPP and here I run two of these and also I check the PHP version. Uh, I have PHP version as a 7.3.7 .7, and also I have installed that Node.js. Okay, so now we are ready to install that Laravel. So if you want to install it, then you have to do, you have to go to that installation. That means the getting started and the installation. And into the installation here that is the laravel so via if you want to install it via the composer you can use install it with the composer and then you have to do you have to create uh, one of the project with this composer so better i want to do i want to create this project with the composer so now go to that um, get composer.org and into this position you have to go to the download and into the download they have some of the command line so now I want to install it, uh, that means I want to install that Laravel with the composer. So I just simply copy it and I have already created one of the project in our local host as a, um, that is our ST docs. I into the ST docs, I have created one of the folder as a pro for, right? So now I want to install that Laravel in particular that area. So first of all, I want to install that our composer. So here in particular that position, I just define as a CMD. So that is our terminal and here I just simply paste it okay so make that sure you are connected with the internet because it will be downloading all that file from to the internet so now you can see it's perfectly install that composer and automatically it's now unlinked that composer set up file so now it's gone from here perfect so now i want to install that laravel via the composer you can see there is a via composer and create project so now that is actually the common line so i just simply copy it and now go to our folder area that means the directory into the pro folder area i want to install it so now i just simply paste it okay so that is actually the command line as a composer create project and the perfect and the dx laravel laravel block so this block it means actually your project name so now i want to define one of the project name as a udemy okay i just simply define one of the folder name as a udemy so it should be create one of the project in our folder that means in our that pro folder okay that means the pro for folder area it should be created one of the folder as a udemy so now i want to install it now click on the enter so it will be download all that file from to the internet okay so make that sure you are connected with the internet because it will be downloading all the things from here so it may take little time so better i want to do i want to pause that video and when it should be done then i will come back again so friend here you can see our laravel installed successfully and also I have created one of the project name as a Udemy in our that folder area. That means the pro folder area. You can see this created one of the folder as a Udemy. And into the Udemy, all that our Laravel file is downloading from to the internet. So if you want to access it, then you have to do, you have to go to your local host. So that is a composer. We don't need this. That is our server. Also, we don't need this. So now I just simply define as a local host. Into the local host, I have created one of the folder as a pro. Okay, I have created one of the folder as a pro4 and into the pro4 I have created one of the project name as a Udemy. So now if you click on the enter, then it should be redacted to our that all that file. And here you have to do, you have to go to the public and you can see our Laravel installed successfully. And also I want to do, I want to add our project in our sublink text editor. So that is our project, that is a Udemy folder, that is a drag and drop system. So I just simply drag and on here. And here you can see all that our file for the Laravel, that is the app, that is our XTTP and all that controller will be in particular that area. And also there is a model and that is our resources and that is our all that view file. Okay, so uh, step by step, I will show you how can do that work. So don't worry about it. And also here, if you go to that, um, there is a package JSON into the package JSON or they have all the details and also that if you go to that composer JSON into the composer JSON it's showing all that your data okay so now here we successfully install that Laravel so we successfully install it and also here if you want to install that Laravel default authentication system so I will show you how can you install that Laravel default authentication system so if you go to that Laravel official website and here you have to do, you have to go to that security and that is our authentication. And into the authentication, if you want to install it, like here, that is our routing. So here you have to run two of these. Okay. So if you run it two of these automatically, it will be created one of the folder in our controller area as authenticate. That means the HTTP 
and there is a controller here it will be created one of the folder as a auth and also it will be created one of the route so that is our route area there is our web route okay it will be created one of the route in particular that area so i want to install it so if you want to install it then you have to do you have to copy it okay i just copy it and now that is our directory in our pro force so right now we have to install it in our project directory not that position so i just cut it okay and here I go to our project directory and i just simply define as again terminal as a cmd and now in particular that area that means in our udemy project folder area i just simply paste it and now click on the enter and also it should be downloading all that file from the internet make that sure you are connected with the internet so friend we successfully install a laravel ui okay and now there have the another command as a php addition auth so now i just simply copy it and here i just simply paste it so it should be created some of the folder like here in particular that area it should be created like here right now i just click on the enter now you can see automatically this system is created one of the folder as a auth and there is one of the controller as a home controller so now if you go to that auth that is all the default authentication system is now installed successfully so now if you go your project and now refresh that project again and now you can see there is our locking and the register is now ready so in laravel that is a default authentication system if you click on the locking you can see there is a css and the css is missing so we have to add both of this so now if you go to our project directory into the project directory if you go to the public into the public here you can see there is our missing that means our css and the css is missing so we have to do we have to install two of this so right now i want to do i want to install it with the npm so for the reasons here as i told you before you have to do you have to download that node.js and you have to install it okay so now with this npm i want to um, add all that our necessary file and also one thing like right now if you want to access your project so that is our url right so in php they have also one of the another command like right now i remove it and now go to our project directory again and here i define as a cmd and i just define as a php artisan serve okay now if you click on the enter it will give you one of the link for access your project so i just simply copy it and now if you access it like here i just add that and now here you can see it's automatically run your project so with this command you can actually access it so you don't need to access that your url so with this you can access it now you can see there is a logging and also there is a register so there is a register perfect so now they have the css and the ss is missing now i want so now i want to install our npm so that is our npm so here and now here if you open as a cmd and the and i want to install that npm okay i just define as the npm install and now uh, first of all i want to install it click on the enter So now here you can see it's install that npm so for the reasons here make that sure you install that node.js okay so i install it perfectly so for the reasons it's now installing so it may take little time make that sure you are connected with the internet so when it will be done then i'll come back again so now friend here you can see i successfully install that npm and now if you go to your project directory into the project directory when you install that npm it will be created one of the folder as a node underscore model okay and here all that our folder so that is our you know when you install that npm you will get that folder so now i want to do i want to add our css and the JSS file in our public folder because here you can see i have uh, i didn't have any css for the JSS for the reason it's now not visible so now i want to install it so if you want to install it then you have to do you have to run in particular that area and i just define as the npm and the run and the watch so I just simply define as the npm run watch so now here i am run our the npm run watch and automatically it will be created our css and the JSS file so you have to wait a little bit and here you can see and here you can see our complete successfully in and so that is our css and the JSS file is created now if you go here in our public into the public folder now you can see that is the css is now created and the JSS is also created okay so now if you go here and now if you refresh it yeah you can see that is our css is perfectly loaded so now if you open the logging so that is our logging perfect 
So friend, we successfully installed that Laravel 7, we successfully installed that default authentication system and also here our default authentication system logging page and the register page. We successfully also added our CSS and the JSS. Okay. And also if you go to the resources, into the resources, there is a JS and there is a component. So if you want to work with the view, so then it should be very much important one of the parts. So that is also added in our JS folder. That means we successfully install our total Laravel 7 package in our local host. Okay, so now it's perfect. So now we want to do want to create one of the code applications. So step by step, I will show you how can do that work. So in our next video, I want to do, I want to create one of the database and also I want to configure our database with our project. So how can do that work in our next video, I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.